Hey, beer tubers! It's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today, I am joined by my friend Daniel, the Endo Symbiosis, and hey, we're gonna take a look at a British beer, a beer that I've been drinking for many, many years. This is uh, Fuller's London Porter. So um, I really haven't done that many British beers. So I thought Daniel's in the middle of doing his or end of import month for him. So we're gonna take a look at a. A British style ale. Definitely looking forward to it. All right, so uh, you feel ready to uh, open this guy up? Definitely. Let's crack this thing. Right, let's go. It's it's been a while since I've had it, and this used to be an old staple for me to a point where every time I'd go out to buy beer, I'd I there's a really good chance I was going to buy this. Yeah, so I uh, I get those on tap fairly regularly, but I, I don't buy the bottles oh. that often. Lucky. <laughs> I did a pretty aggressive pour on that. Although I did shake the ball up a little bit before I uh, before I opened it, but um, <laughs> I'm using my uh, my Fuller's Nonic. There, oh, nice! So. I don't have a true Nonic, so I'm just using this uh, this kind of pint glass. This, you know. And, What's uh, great about this beer is it's 5.4 percent ABV. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, so you can drink them all night. I mean, that's the great thing about yeah. This English. is a, a very sessionable porter. Um, oh yeah. All right, what do we got here? I'm getting uh, about a three finger head because I kind of shook it up a little bit. Yeah, mine's uh, about one finger, half finger, somewhere in there. Um, kind of. I mean, to me, it's kind of defines the porter. It's it looks dark away from the light, but it's definitely not black. No, it's not black. It's uh, kind of more of a dark, dark brown color. I do get some like reddish tinges towards the bottom. Yep. And I hold it, it up to like the light, and it looks like amber, like amber brown. Yeah, like, very amber, very clear too. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get the nose on this thing. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I, I love this smell. <laughs> That's a classic, man. It, it smells like you are brewing up a stout or a porter beer. I mean, if you That's homebrew, exactly what it smells like. I've got a stout that I'm ready like to like bottle. Fresh, it fresh, fresh grains that are boiling away in your kettle. Yeah, it's it's got that really dark kind of malt body. Yeah. Um, well, there's some sweetness in there, and then there's some like. Kind of a, uh, yeah, like caramel. I get in some like caramel, and then I get like that that roasty malt smell. Yeah, and a little bit of that like bittersweet, like licorice kind of aroma, you know. Yeah, yeah, some of that, and maybe uh maybe because I poured it a little more aggressive or bigger head, I'm may, maybe a touch of touch of finishing hops on there. Maybe it's just a tad. I'm ready to dig in. I'm thirsty. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for beer. Cheers. Cheers. damn fine porter yeah i mean every time when i stop drinking this for a while i wonder is it when i go back is it going to be as good as i remember and and so far it has been every time it's so smooth it's it's just so smooth and drinkable the roast character it's like a smooth roastiness roastiness can be kind of a you know real kind of bittering character right. that can kind of leave some rough edges around the beer but this doesn't have those rough edges. It's so smooth. Um, it has that kind of sweet licorice, kind of raisiny kind of quality on the on the tongue, kind of velvety smooth. Yeah. A little bit I, of carbonation. I, I, I do get some hops, some kind of earthy green like yeah. hops right on the tip of my tongue as I drink this. But I mean, then it's got that roasty kind of smoky kind of you know just beautiful yeah. black body. Yeah. You know. For me, I get a little smoke on the finish, but I also get a lot of I get a lot of chocolate out of this beer. Usually, you don't get chocolates out of porters. Right. Um, no, no, me, no, I, I can get that. Yeah, like right on the middle of the tongue. Yeah. No, yeah, kind of towards the middle. I, like I get chocolate out of this, and it's just something you, I usually don't see. Maybe a little coffee in there because of the playing between the the caramel and the uh, the roasty notes and that chocolate kind of character kind of leads to a quasi kind of coffee. But I just get like. Like sweet caramel malt, ton of smooth roastiness, and chocolate, and maybe like a hint of smoke at the end. But then, I don't know. It's so complex. I mean, you even get like dark fruits almost even. Yeah, you do. I mean, there's there's so much going it's on. Like, it really is just like the interplay of the different ingredients. It's like different different sips can give you different qualities. And it's funny, yeah, like every time you say an ingredient and I'm drinking it, I get that ingredient. It's like literally yeah. I'm drinking it and you go chocolate. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then you say, you yeah. know. <laughs> well, I mean, we yeah, our different palates are definitely going to get those flavors, you know, differently and more intense than others. But 
Yeah, the complexity of a 5.4% beer, it, it's astounding what they do with this. Like, I could so slug this thing down. I could just go all Simon and just down it, you know, during the <laughs> middle of the review. Because um, yep. it's so smooth, it's so highly drinkable, uh, and it's only four, five point four percent ABV, and um, it's so complex, which is, yeah, it, it's amazing. stone the crows, stone the crows, stone the bloody crows is right because, or this could be our tribute video to Simon the real yeah, guy. Totally, cheers, Simon. Yeah, yeah, cheers. absolutely. Another good, yeah. great friend of us. Um, if you haven't had this beer, Simon. You need to go find it, get Fuller's to send it to you. Yeah, Fuller's London um, Porter, fantastic. This is a world-class porter. Yeah, well, it's a classic. I mean, in terms of the style, and in terms of just the way it's the way it's characterized. I mean, this is just a classic porter. This is a yeah. classic. You know, when you think of a of an, of an English porter, this is what you want to think of. This right. is it. You know. Yeah. And all other porters kind of measure up to this or don't. Like it's almost hard to even criticize it for anything else. You know. Yeah. And you know, and I, I can see some people criticizing this and not liking it as much as I do, and I, I see that, but because I mean, there are more robust porters out there. I mean, the Great Lakes makes a great porter. Right. Um, Founder's supposed to make a great porter. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try mine because it was infected. But um, uh, Avery makes a, a real solid kind of like hopped up porter that's really their nice. new world new world porter. Yeah, I've had yeah. that one. I've had a bunch of porters, and this is. This is one of the only ones that I will just go back and buy again and again. Yeah. Though like, this is this is still up there for me. That's the mark of a good porter. I mean, I'm not sure I would I would rate any porter higher than this one. That's really what I would okay. say. But but the porter, I, I just I tend to go for stouts. That's all you know. That's, right. That's yep. the difference. You Definitely. Know, so, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with an A, I guess, for my final, just because I want to give that little bit of room for draft or cask version of this. And uh, you know what I'm I'm rating wise I'm gonna go ahead and go an A too. I mean you know I could go A minus just to be a dick about it, but really <laughs> this is a this yeah, is a great an beer and I can't I can't really go. I mean you know whatever it's an A definitely. I mean you know having it on cask I'm sure that would be an A plus, but uh, I can't imagine like A plus plus for cask. A plus plus yes. For sure. It, it routes all the way back around. It gets a Z on cask. You know like that's how good it is. So that's going to wrap it up for Fuller's London Porter. Um, it's an excellent beer. We both like this one. Um, great way to end import month for Daniel. And uh, just another British beer that I finally got on my channel. And I'll be doing plenty more. And so uh, please stay tuned for more British beers and, of course, more local San Diego and California beers. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. And uh, thanks for Daniel for joining me today. It's been awesome. And we'll uh, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.